Adam Sandler is uh, working on a new movie. He is producing, starring in Hustle, Netflix movie about a former basketball recruiter tries to remake his career by bringing back a player from overseas to play in the NBA. LeBron James, a co-producer among the luminaries in the movie Hustle, Queen Latifah, Ben Foster, love Ben Foster, Robert Duvall, Bobby, uh, Kenny Smith from TNT is in there, and McLovin also has a role, and uh, Adam Sandler joins us from somewhere in Philadelphia. Sandman, how are you today? Hi, Danny. It's so funny. Robert Duvall called me up. It was like 3 in the morning. Adam. I go, hey, hey, what's going on, Bobby? I can't do the movie unless. I said, what do you mean, unless? McLovin. (laughs) I need McLovin. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, that's how that happened. Okay. Danny. Danny, I miss you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you You got a lot of NBA players in this movie. Unbelievable. Yes, I just shot yesterday did a scene with Doc Rivers. Okay. And uh and I and and a bunch of the Sixers were in there. Tobias, Matisse, uh Seth Curry, uh who else was there? Tyrese Maxey. Just all nice all nice guys. And and uh today I'm going to play I'm going to do like this scene where there's a pickup game and it's all all these all these and one guys are coming. To play, not not NBA guys, but a bunch of and one guys are coming to the park to play. It's it's been unbelievable for me, and unfortunately, Danny, the worst timing ever. My foot hurts every time I go on the court. I go, I can't play, and all these great guys are playing. I can't even shoot. You got to stomp. You picked up golf I recently, so just I did. You can play just golf the rest of your life. Like this, know, Danny. Why don't you retire as a basketball player after this movie? I I I, I think I did. I think my foot did. My foot told me I can't do it anymore. But I, but I, it's the only time I sweat. Oh yeah, that's right. That, that is your only exercise. You know what I mean? Yeah. That and and uh, and and holding myself up in, in the bedroom. But that that <laughs> that's only like a, a forty second sweat. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even a minute man. No, no, no. Every time somebody says a minute man, I'm like, how does he do it? <laughs> <laughs> how does he get to that? Yeah. <laughs> How do you come up with the idea that you're going to do a movie about a basketball scout for the Sixers, down on his luck, finds this great player, and is going to bring him back to the NBA to somehow reclaim his career life? By the way, you're in the movie, too, and so so are the Danettes. And and besides McLovin, you're playing yourself. But um, (laughs) but, um, this was just total luck. Those guys brought it to me. They brought it to me. It was written originally... But I find a player in China, uh, and and somehow uh, Netflix is not in China. So they were like, "Would it, would you guys please make it that we find somebody in Latin America <laughs> or Europe?" Or, and so next thing you know, I'm in Mallorca. <laughs> Wait, that's how that happened? Yes, oh, yes, wow. yes. It, it was originally a find a player in China. And by the and way, really you know what? Yeah. It, I saw the picture where you're at the beach and you got your, your shirt off and you're getting in the water there. That was disgusting. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I know. And I'm looking, I'm flipping through and it's like uh, Adam oh. Sandler taking a dip and I'm going. What a humiliating <laughs> moment. Yeah, I, nothing, <laughs> nothing gross. Because, by the way, not only was I swimming uh, there thinking I was happy, you know, for once in my life going, oh, let me jump in the Mediterranean. <laughs> But then uh, on top of that, Joe Vesey was swimming, and he can't swim. And I seriously was watching him. I was like, is he about to die out there? That's what they got a picture of. I'm standing there with a shirt off going, my friend's about to die. This is amazing. You need to get a body double. <laughs> By the way, I saw one of the pictures, and I was like, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> there's, nothing good, there's nothing good about it, but there's nothing uh, atrocious about it. What is LeBron James doing with the movie? I, I, I guess, is he co-producing this? Yeah, it's his company. Him and Maverick, uh, they, they have a big movie company now. And they, those guys called me with the script and Joe Roth. And, uh, and they all, uh, it was great. It was a really cool script. I play a scout. I get to play kind of a guy who's been in the league a long time and getting pushed around. And not not really getting any traction, uh, but but loves it. He wants to coach one day, and Robert Duval owns the team. Hmm. And I've been scouting for years, and Duval finally says, 
uh, you know what, we're going to make you an assistant coach this year, and he, and he passes away. And his son, uh, that Ben Foster's playing, takes over the team and Ben doesn't like me, so he gets me back on the road. And so when I'm on the road, I'm like, if I find that one guy like Luca, Dirk, or somebody like that caliber, that you can't deny me I, that, that what I've done for the team, and they'll give me a shot. And I find uh, Wancho Hernan Gomez, who's just the greatest. I can't tell you, Danny. He acts so much better than me in every scene. It's like, God damn it. This guy's <laughs> falling, crying in the middle of the scene, doing the right thing. Just every joke he says, I'm like, he said it smoother than I would have. And, and he he's an it. NBA he player. Like, you're getting yeah. out acted by an NBA player? Destroying me at six ten, staring, looking down at me, going, "No, no, no, that's not how you do it, Adam. Let me show you." <laughs> and he's a great guy, and I got to meet his family in Spain, and his brother Willie is a great guy. And oh, oh, by the way, the whole Spanish Olympic team was in the movie too. A lot, a lot of the guys uh, when I was in Spain, they, that's, what happens is I find them at a kind of like a Rutger Park of Spain kind of uh, game. And he's dominating out there, and I say, hey, man, you know, I go and meet him and tell him what I do, and he can't, doesn't speak English well, so he thinks uh, I'm lying, and I get him to, uh, to come practice with me the next day with with the uh, Spanish Olympic team, so it's just to, to show him that I'm legitimate, and uh, then I bring him over to America.